Hey, and we're live. So it is Monday today. My name's Karen Roberts. I'm a holistic transformation coach. So I help people find their mojo when they've lost it, whether that's relating to business or whether that's relating to anything in life, really. We look at the mental, the physical, and the spiritual perspective. So Monday, every Monday, every Wednesday, do a short live like this relating to business, um, specifically more the home-based online businesses. Um, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays is more related around my specific niche, nutrition, exercise, mindset, and vibration. So today's Monday, business. So three activities that you must do every day to build your business on social media. So I think uh, last week we talked about having a daily method of operation that a lot of people just don't. They're flying by, you know, see their pants really, and they're just reacting. But when you create a daily method of operation, something that, you, that you're going to follow every day because you need to be constantly growing your audience, right? You need to grow your network that is outside of your friends and family. And you need to connect with people on a personal level. Because, as, as I said, I think last week, people buy from people that they know, like and trust. So how do you grow your audience of your ideal customer or client and that is outside of your current network, right? You want them really coming to you. So you need to be growing that audience of these new people if you want to grow your, your business because not everyone in your friends and family are going to be interested in what you put to sell. They're just not, which is fine. You want, you want to find who your ideal customer or client is going to be, right? Um, and have them coming to you. So <clears throat> that you need to be spending some, a certain amount of time every single day just focused on growing your audience. Secondly, um, you need to obviously create content every day. You need to be posting every day, but it's not about you. <laughs> it's got to be about them, about your customer, how they're going to benefit. It's, got, it's not about you. People don't care. They don't care about you. I know that's tough to hear, but people want to know what's in it for them. So make your posts, if you're doing an educational post or a curiosity post, it's got to be about what are they going to get out of it? Yeah. What, where is the benefit to them? So obviously just posting is just part one of your daily method of operation. It's not really going to get your sales, but you need to be constantly growing that audience. If you're constantly giving value at some point, people are going to come to you and ask you questions. So um, the final thing I would say is, is making sure that you do still dedicate your time uh, to personal development, and that's a big thing, and to, to learning new skills because this is a constantly evolving arena. Would you agree? Um, right, there are things that I would have taught four years ago that wouldn't, wouldn't be teaching now because the landscape has changed. So... I mean, I'm going to be 50 this year. Never stop learning. It's a constant learning experience. So personal development, so time on yourself, time for self-care, whether that's reading a book, listening to, um, watching videos, listening to audios to do with self-development. Because, again, I think when we transition from employee to business owner and we don't have anybody to be accountable to other than ourselves, it's almost like we need this. We need to focus on self development to to keep that going. I know some people are very naturally very self disciplined. I'm very envious. I have to really work at it um, <clears throat> to stay focused. And self development is a massive part of what massive part of what I do. That's why um, I do teach a lot of mindset training because I think I do feel that that is a massive part of it. Because it's easy when you're when you have a job and you're being told what to do, you just get the job done. When we're left to our own devices, it is it's very easy not to have a daily method of operation. It's very easy um, not to do those things. You know, there's, there's there's always something else to be done. There's always a load of washing to be put on, or do something with kids, or go out. So when you are running your own business, there will be activities that you really have to do every single day if you are looking to grow. So, again, if you need help with this 
kind of thing. Um, I am always looking for new coaches to work with me. Um, obviously, you need to have some kind of passion for health and wellness. Uh, it's not going to work if you don't. Um, I'm a true believer that with, with business, you've got to do what you're passionate about. You've got to follow your passion. So it's got to resonate with you. So um, if you would like to know more, get in touch. Otherwise,